VPNs offer some individual benefits, but even the best services put limitations on the number of devices you can connect. In this video, I'll be showing you how to quickly and easily install a VPN on your router. That way, whether you want to use your VPN with 5 or 50 devices, you'll get your VPN benefits on everything you connect to your router. <laughs> For this video, I'm using an Asus router, but the procedure will be similar for all other routers as well. Also, I'm using ExpressVPN for this video because it's fast, secure, and easy to install onto your router. To learn more about it, feel free to check out our full ExpressVPN review linked down in the description box below. And you'll also find a discount code down there if you want to save some money as well. All right, here we go. The first step is to get a VPN. And as I've already said, I'm using ExpressVPN for this tutorial, but signing up won't be drastically different for any other popular VPN service. For me, I just needed to click the Get Express VPN button, choose a plan, enter my payment details, and come up with a username and password. Also, don't forget to take note of your verification code for later on. Once you've signed up, head over to the VPN website, log in with your chosen details, and use your verification code. Now, at this point, you'll be given a list of platforms that you can install your VPN on, and ExpressVPN works with basically every popular platform. We want to choose the manual configuration option for our router. We're going with a manual setup here because it'll show you how to set it up with any compatible router. Don't worry, it is not as complicated as it sounds, and it doesn't require any manual labor. Once you've clicked through to the next screen, you'll see a couple of options. Here you can see two protocol options, which are OpenVPN and L2TP. First, let's select OpenVPN. In short, OpenVPN is more secure, while L2TP is faster for streaming, for example, and you'll want to go with LT2P for that purpose. And don't worry, I'll show you that option a little bit later in the video. But first, OpenVPN. Once you click OpenVPN, take note of the username and password, and you will need this later on in the video as well. Below you'll see a list of available servers, and you can choose whichever server you want, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm using a US server based in Dallas, Texas. When you click the server, you'll get a file that you'll need a little bit later as well, so make sure to save this somewhere that is easy to find. Next, we need to log in to our router. There are two ways to go about this, but you need a browser for both of them. So open a new tab and type in your router IP address, which in most cases is 192.168.01 or 192.168.11. But for ASUS routers, you can just type in router.asus.com and you will be redirected to the router login page. If you haven't changed your router's login details, then admin is likely your username and password. And for most other routers, these are going to be the default login credentials. If you're unsure, you can also check the back of your router for further details and instructions. So I changed my login details, so I will enter them now and click sign in. On the left side, there are a bunch of different options, but we're looking at the VPN button. Once you press it, a new menu opens up with two buttons. One is VPN server and the other is VPN client, and you need to click the VPN client option. So click there, and next you'll need to add a new profile. So click add profile. In the next menu, there are a few options, but the one we want to use is again, open VPN. So go ahead and click that. You'll see that you need to add a description, username, password, as well as the server file that we saved earlier in the video. And don't worry, we are almost finished. First, add a description. I added ExpressVPN OpenVPN Dallas, and after that, I enter the username and password from the ExpressVPN manual configuration page. Once you finish that, find the file that you saved from the ExpressVPN website and upload it like this. Press OK, and just like that, you have made your first VPN client on your router. Congratulations. The last thing you need to do is activate it. So press activate and wait for a few moments. You'll get a notification as soon as it is connected. Now let's do a quick location test to show you that our router is now connected to Dallas, Texas. And there we have it, it seems to be working properly, and now for the streamers in the audience, let's quickly go through the setup process for L2TP connections. 
From the ExpressVPN manual configuration page that we looked at earlier, click the L2TP button. There are usernames and passwords here that you will need just like the OpenVPN option. Below are the servers, so this time let's make the VPN client for the Chicago server. Copy the Chicago server address like this, then go back to the router page, make a new profile like so, but this time we'll use an L2TP profile. Similar to before, add a description, the Chicago server address, username, and password. Then press OK, and we've made another VPN client profile on your router. Not so hard after all, right? After that, deactivate your open VPN connection if you still have it activated and activate your newly created L2TP profile. Wait just a moment, just like we did before, and you'll see a connection is now active. Let's check it again, and now you can see we are connected to Chicago and we're using the L2TP protocol. So let's run a quick streaming test. Open a tab with Netflix, for example, sign in, and let's stream something. No problem, and it is working lightning fast. So that's it. You can use this method with pretty much any router that has VPN options, and your router's menu might be slightly different, but the details that you need are basically the same. Hopefully you found this video to be helpful, so if you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we upload future tips and tutorials as well. If you need to get a new VPN, I again recommend checking out the links in the description box below for a full review of ExpressVPN, as well as some generous discount codes. That's all for me in this video, I'll see you in the next one.